Did I just hop upon it? Oh, hello, you, Stephen Richardson. A colonel, a gas dinner. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stephen Richardson, and welcome to Cornwall. Today, I've been uh, nominated to do the uh, seven question YouTube challenge. So first of all, I suppose I'd better thank uh, Real Bran for uh, nominating me. You know, he's, he's very kindly nominated me. I say very kindly because this is quite an embarrassing thing to do. Um, but please, he has got an excellent YouTube channel. So if you've never been to see it before, then go and check out his, his channel. Um, he approaches YouTube videos, um, well, each of his videos is a work of art, a combination of pictures and music to tell a story. And if you watch any of his videos, then make sure you keep a, a good lookout for his treasured kettle. Okay, so question one. Um, why did you start YouTube? Well, I saw other people doing it, and I thought it looked quite fun and interesting to do. So I thought I'll have a go at that. But also, it's going to be a record for me to look back on um, in the future. It's almost like a photo album, but instead it's going to be a video album. That's the plan anyway. Question two. How long have you been doing YouTube? Well, my first video was uploaded on the 1st of June 2017. So it's about two months or so now, I guess. Not that long. Question three, how did you come up with your name? Okay, well, there's a chap called Alistair Humphreys who talks a lot about micro adventures. He says, um, a micro adventure is an adventure that is short, simple, local, cheap, yet still fun, exciting, challenging, refreshing, and rewarding. And I think that's a great philosophy for just everyday normal people to be able to get out and enjoy the outdoor um, world. So, so I thought, when I was thinking about what I'd call my YouTube channel, I thought, I know, I'll call it my bushcraft adventure. Question four, do you use thumbnails? Yes, I do. I always make my own custom thumbnails. I think they give the viewer a better idea of what the content is going to be in the video. Question five, do you use intros and outros? Uh, well, I certainly use an intro. I've got a very standard intro. It's very cheesy. It's almost a, a gentle parody of some uh, bushcraft YouTube videos that are out there. And I think it perhaps just pokes a bit of fun at myself as well. So if you can't laugh at yourself every now and again, then um, it's gonna make life very difficult. As for the outros, well, I haven't got one at the moment, and I think that really this is a, a goal that I could set myself to work on the way that I finish off my videos, because it's not very good at the moment. Quite often, they just end quite abruptly. So, yeah, perhaps I should work on an outro for the future. Question six, what camera do you use? Well, it's just a very, very standard camcorder. It's a Sanyo Zacti, or however you pronounce it. That's, that's all that I use. I don't use any other backups or GoPros or anything like that. Just that's a standard, straightforward camcorder. Question seven, when will I quit? Um, well, I've got no idea really. I've, got, I've only been doing it for two months, so I've got no um, idea of when I'm gonna quit. I guess the time to quit is when it's not fun and it all just becomes a bit of a chore, I suppose. That's the best time to quit when you're no longer enjoying it. 
Okay, so thank you. There's my um, seven answers to my seven questions. Now I've got to nominate some of the people. So the people that I want to nominate, I've got two people. The first one is um, a YouTuber that covers Dartmoor quite a lot. It's Wandering J. Now I would have thought that he's been nominated before, but I haven't seen a video on his YouTube channel at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna nominate him anyway. And if he's done it before, well then so be it. Um, but please go and have a look at his channel. Um, I found it very helpful watching his videos um, and sharing his experience. And he provides an excellent research tool for anybody who wants to uh, hike or wild camp on Dartmoor. So please go and have a look at his channel, give him a sub. Uh, secondly, I'd, I'd like to nominate uh, Bushcraft Boy. Now I think it's brilliant that young people can get involved in the outdoors rather than just sitting in front of a computer screen. And Bushcraft Boy um, is a great role model for other youngsters uh, to follow. He's very knowledgeable and he creates a lot of very useful and easy to understand content that's on YouTube. I suspect he gets a bit of help from his dad, but he's, he's, it's a great little channel that he's got. And please go and have a look at his channel. OK, so there you are. That's that's finished with. Now, if you would like to see um, more of my videos on wild camping or bushcraft then please subscribe to my channel and like my videos leave comments if you could as well and that's it for this video i'm going to be going wild camping in dartmoor quite soon so no doubt there'll be news on that to come fairly soon um, in the meantime thanks for watching and goodbye we hope